Hello, guys. How Hello, teacher. Otto, how are you, man? Fine. Happy Very... Father's Day. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And you are you a father? No. You father? No, 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 no. Ah, pues no. Pero... <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> maybe when I'm 40, man. Not, not right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe, maybe in the long future. Not right now. <laughs> not the future, man. Okay. How old are you? Uh, I just turned 30. Ah, yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah. Very, very younger, huh? <laughs> good. And how, how was your day, Tisha? It was good, man. It was good. It was very good. I, um, I, I actually had a day off um, at my other workplace, so I didn't, I didn't work. Yeah, this is like, I only had to work here, you know. So it's good. It's good. I've been resting a lot. So yeah, good. What about you? What about uh, your your boat? Ah, I today I I, I was work. Uh, I was working all day. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it has very hard day. Yes, we have uh, six ships on the pier, and one ship is in the boys. Oh, okay, right. All right. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation is ship. You have to say ship. ship. Kind of like ship. an e and an e. Ship. Ship. Oh, okay. Exactly. Good. Because when you say sheep, it sounds like you're saying oveja. All right. Sheep. Ship. One is sheep and the other one is ship. Ship. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. All, All right. I say ship. <laughs> yes, 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 guys. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome. Glad that you're okay. Josue, are you a father, Josue? No. Not yet? I was going to say Happy Father's Day, man. But uh, uh, Say, you're a father, right? Happy Father's Day to you, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, I have one song. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. Did, did, you, uh, did you spend time with him? Yes, yes, yes. That's we good. celebrate today the Father's Day. That's good, that's good. Esmeralda, happy Father's Day for the mother who is also a father. Ah, just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day, Esmeralda? All good? Um, yeah, it was good. I had a fantastic day. My daddy and mom came to my home. We bought food and I was happy. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'm glad you're happy. Santi, Santiago Salazar. How are Hi, you? Good evening, you teacher kids, right? David. Yeah, I, it All was right. great. I mean, I I have a, a relaxed time here and, and enjoying with my children and my wife. Oh, okay. Happy Father's and, Day, man. Yeah. And, but I have to, how do you say, to, we meet a, a uh, beef, uh, uh, but but you say a, a roasted beef. I mean, oh, you, you had a, a barbecue. It's like a barbecue, yeah. Uh -oh. But I have to to put the uh, uh, how do you say carbon in the fire and so plan of breathing. You know, <laughs> okay, <that. laughs> you have to blow. No, you have to. Yeah. You have to blow the. But, uh, and they okay. they try to con congratulate me, but I have to help them, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Solo te llegaron a felicitar, pero vos hiciste todo el trabajo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> something All like right, that. but I'm glad that you spent time with your kids, man. Milton, Alvarenga, thank Jasmine, thank you for coming. Fernando, Karina Oriana, Gabriel, thank you for coming, guys, and happy Father's Day if you, happy Father's Day if you are. Uh, Milton says he's not. <laughs> Why are you celebrating, Milton? <laughs> Milton is celebrating. Oh, because I'm not tired. That's good, man. How old are you? <laughs> I'm just. I'm 25. Okay, yeah, you, you're good, man. You're good. You're very young, man. You're very young. All right, guys. So yeah. we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on um, right now, guys, because we have to uh, go through section number four, and we have to go to uh, we have to finish up until the middle, guys. Okay. All right. So today's objective. Who can help? Who wants to help me read, guys? Help me, teacher. Nadie, nadie me quiere olvidar leer. Okay. Let's go. 
Okay, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tense are used. Good job, guys, okay? All right, so we're gonna see examples of past, present, future, and, and uh, tenses, guys, okay? Now, basically, guys, we're gonna see this, this topic, guys, this, this session, uh, I mean, the section four, guys, is pretty much uh, time expressions, okay? Hold on. All right. So let's listen, guys, grab your notebooks and your pens and take notes, okay? Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Remember guys, you have two. What did, he, what did she ask you to do? Identify? Identify what? Time contrast. The tenses that they are using. Okay? All right, so let's listen. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, People walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, guys, so let's practice the conversation. If the, if the font is too small, guys, well, bummer, because I can't make it bigger. All right, so everyone, let's repeat, guys. This neighborhood sure has changed. This neighborhood sure has changed. Sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, no many people lived here. I know. I know. Oh, I've years ago, years ago, people lived, not lived, not people lived, lived here. here. All right, not lives, guys. Lived. Everybody lived. 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 Okay. But lived population here. is growing so lived. fast these days. But but this population, population is growing, growing so fast these days. days. Yeah, it seems like there is a construction site right on every corner. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. seems like it seems there like there's a construction every seat with every corner. Pronunciation, guys, construction. 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 Not construct, construction. 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 All right. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it is a multiplex cinema. What's a multiplex cinema? Any idea? No idea, guys, what, what a multi, uh, multiplex cinema is? This is a complex from project movies. Exactly, guys. It's 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 like it's not only movie, guys. It's a whole building, right? Oh, it's a whole building with um with multiple floors, and they have different type of uh, services, like stores there. You know, kind of like multiplas or something like that, right? All right, uh, everyone. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're tearing, tearing down, down our high, high, high school. school. Guys, what is the meaning of tearing down? Tearing down. Tearing down. I don't know. Tearing don't down, know. guys. Okay, tearing down. The base for the base verb, guys, is tear down. Okay, which means destruir, right? Derrumbar, oh. right? All right, tear something down, guys. It's like. You can, like, for example, La Toxica, right? She tore down your heart, okay? Te rompió el corazón. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, Esmeralda está riendo, right? So. You broke my heart? <laughs> it, it's not correct. Yeah, you can say I'm she broke toxic. my heart. No, I know, I know. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not toxic. All right, good job, guys. All right. 
uh, they're going to build a shopping mall soon. Uh, soon there will be just malls and parking lots. They're going to build a shopping mall soon. There will be just mall and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, guys, so walk it or walk, guys. Walk. Walk. All right, remember, walk. What? With a T at the end, right, guys? Right? Walk, okay? Good job, guys. So you're going to practice person A, person B. But before that, what are the tenses that you can see here, guys? The different types of tenses. Present. Present. Has changed. Is past. Has okay. changed. Has changed. All right. We see present. Present perfect. That is present perfect, okay? Yes. Has changed, okay? What else? What else do you see? Simple past. Okay. Where People do you see live. simple past? People leave. Good job. What else, guys? What else do you see? Um, future. There you go. Leave it here. Leave it here. Now, what about? But the population is growing so fast these days. What is that? It's present. Present, present. progressive, right? Mm -hmm. All right. What else, guys? What do you see? Future. We're we going to, to be less shopping malls. What about we uh -huh. used to buy candy at that uh, little grocery store? Pass. Okay, all right. Simple pass again, okay? Now it's a multiple cinema. It's a multiple cinema? What's that? Multiple uh, present. Simple present, present. present okay? Full present. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? They're tearing down or high school. Now, guys, is he talking about something that's happened at the moment or something that's going to happen up in, the in the future? If, if, they, if he said, uh, yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. Where are they listening? These days. Yeah. So they're saying simple future. All right, guys, because you can use, guys, uh, present progressive to talk about the future, okay? Oh, okay. All right. And, and okay. Uh, because also they're saying they're going to build a shopping mall. So according to the context, they're talking about the future, okay? So they're combining, guys, all sentences here, okay? All right, guys. So any questions right now? If not, guys, it will be Changed time to door. practice. Do you know okay? if it's still there? Okay. No. All right, so let's listen to the rest of the conversation. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? All right, so write this down, guys. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Repeat, guys. What else what has, changed? has changed in their neighborhood? Every pronunciation, guys, changed. Changed. Okay, right. Let's changed. Go. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. The tenses? Hello. 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 Oh, guys, I'm waiting for your examples in the chat room. Tell me what else changed. Okay. According to the audio, okay. what else changed, okay? Hello. Hello, Luis. 
Hello, Sergio. Oh. Sergio, I'm David. <laughs> yes, you did. But before Sergio appeared. <laughs> oh, okay. And I think, and, and I think we, I, I have uh, uh, we have uh, one change uh, in the neighborhood is uh, there is not a bookstore. Exactly. No, yeah. no, it's a pizzeria. Good job, Jasmine. Jasmine is the only one who has sent me their her answer, guys. I need everybody to send me your answer. Okay, the bookstore now it's a pizzeria. Good job, Jasmine. Good job, Sergio. All right, the bookstore is now a pizzeria. Okay? Thank you. Thank All you right, picture. so keep sending me your examples, guys. Keep sending me your examples, and let's move on. Okay. All right, Esmeralda, help me read the objective. Uh... At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Good job. Time contrast, guys. Okay. What is contrast, guys? What is contrast? The difference between... Um, A comparison. A comparison, the, right? Uh, the difference the between one thing or the other, right? It's like when a toxic te dice, mira, sos lindo, sos inteligente, todo, y después dice, pero, ese pero es el contraste, todo lo que dijo no tiene sentido, no, no, no vale ya, right? Ese pero, pero debemos terminar, right? It's like, nada, all right? So that's a contrast. I need guys, time. Okay? I need time, right? Ah, bien, bien escueleada, Esmeralda. Good job, guys, good job, all right? So, Before you have the experience. Before what? <laughs> the voice of the experience. In the voice of the experience. That's correct. Okay. All right, guys. So let's <laughs> let's take a look at a presentation that I got for you. Uh, where is it? My God. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Let me pull up my presentation because I don't know what happened. Time contrast. There you go, guys. So, so I got my presentation now. Okay, so yes, guys, we're gonna talk about time contrast. Time contrast, okay? Good job, guys. Good job, okay? All right, so let's talk about the past. All right, so now, guys, basically the topic is this, guys, okay? All right, because I know it sounds a little bit confusing, guys, but basically is hey, let's talk let's talk using all tenses okay this is the topic guys okay talk using all tenses habla en una oración hablando acerca del pasado presente y futuro ¿Por qué? porque vas a contrastar estás haciendo una comparación estás haciendo una you're making a comparison guys you're making a comparison comparison all right comparison okay comparison between times got it got it got it for example, yeah, it's like saying, Uy, vieras, antes el Salvador del Mundo era un, un terrero. Terrero? Like, terrero. Terrero, terrero, right? Era un ter terrero, uh, la estatua no estaba, pero estos días, pero, pero ahora la está, hay una estatua gigante y, y hay mucha gente presente. All right, so, in Spanish, you do the same, guys, okay? You're talking about, like, Comparing the past, the present, and the future. And that's what we're going to see right now, okay? So, uh, volunteer, guys. I need someone to read the first example. The first example, guys, is this one right here. Let's go. Me, Gabriel. Gabriel, let's go. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Good job. Not many people lived here, right? Now, let's connect, the, let's connect that sentence, okay? Here. Yes, that is correct. Now, let's connect that sentence with the next one, okay? Karina, let's go. This day, the population is growing so fast. Good job. Pronunciation, guys. Population. 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 Like this, right? Population. 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 Okay, that's how your population, right? All right, good job. So these days, the population, right? 
All right. Uh, and lastly, uh, Otto? Uh, in the future. Soon, uh -huh. there will be a lot, a lot of... Nice. Uh, I continue. Shopping mall. Okay, repeat. Soon, uh -huh. there will be a lot of shopping malls. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Applause for you guys. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So now, uh, I need Santiago. Let's read it all. Let's read it all naturally. Okay. Read the past, the present, and the future. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, a few years ago, not many people live here. These days, the population is growing so fast. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. Okay, now, guys, let me, good job. Plus for Santiago, guys. Good job, good job, good job, okay? All right, guys, so let me ask you something, guys. Is this, all right, so is, is, is all of these, guys, can, can this be used in one single conversation? Yes or not? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. guys. Okay, yes, right. Yes. So the past, the present, and the future can be used in a single conversation, and that is uh, time contrast. Okay, that's what we call time contrast. Got it? Got it. Okay. Got it, got it. Is, is there anybody with any question no. whatsoever? Do you have any questions? No? Mm -mm. no. All right, let's all right, let's look at like, the other examples, okay? Uh Santiago, pick someone. Um Alvaro. Alvaro, let's go, Alvaro. Okay. People used to shop at the grocery stores. Continue, continue. Today, people shop at the at supermarkets. Mm -hmm. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. Good job. Plus for Alvaro, guys. Okay. Applause, applause, que se oiga esta cojute. I don't know why. All right, All right guys. All right, so uh, is this another contrast, guys? What is the contrast about, guys? What is the contrast? On this example, guys, what is the contrast about? De qué es el contraste, guys? Acerca de qué? Where you buy your groceries. Exactly, guys, okay, all right. Where you buy your groceries, good job, okay? What is the contrast on the first, on the first example? The, the, the growing of growing population. Ex okay, the the, grow, the growing population of population. Okay, good job, everyone. Growth. Repeat, guys. Growth. growth. Okay. Growth. It's about so it's about the growth of the population. population okay. Population. All right. Population, wow. remember, okay? It's about the growth of population. And the last one, Luis Enrique. Okay. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Pronunciation, Nowadays, guys. Hold on. Walked. 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 Okay. Walked. Okay. Walked. Okay. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their car instead. Good job. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. Okay, what is the contrast here, guys? About the... Um, Transportation. Transportation. Okay, all right. About transportation. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. All right. Very good. All right. Do we have, is it clear, guys, what time contrast is in grammar? Clear? Yes. Yes. Yay, nay. All right. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. Uh, good job, guys. So, basically, guys, time contrast. Uh, help me read. Fabiola. Welcome, Fabiola. I'm read. Time contrast uh -huh. helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived. Good job, guys. The same situation that we have lived. In the case, guys, in the case of uh, the second example, 
what same situation are they referring to? What? What? Uh, in the case of the first example, guys. So here, guys, hold on. Here it says, it helps us to talk about perhaps a, a same situation that we have lived, okay? So in the first example, guys, what is that situation? What is that situation that we have? Uh, uh, let's use the second example. It's a little bit easier. So in the second example, guys, what is that situation that we have lived? In the second one. Mm -hmm. How you buy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the way that you bought things, right? Good job, okay? All right, good job, guys. You, good job, okay? All right, guys, so. Hold on. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, so. Any question right now? Can you identify, can you identify uh, the different type of tenses that we have on the first sentence? Me, teacher, what is the first, what type of tense is the one that we see on the first sentence, guys? Simple past. Simple past, good job. Okay, people live here. What about the present? It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. Present it's continuous or present progressive, right? What about the future? Will be. Will be. Good job, be. right? What about the second example? Used to shop. Just Just the shop. Shop. What tense is that? Shop. No, what, what pass. tense? Used pass. Simple Used to pass. Shop. Simple pass. Simple pass, okay? Uh, what about the present? People shop. shop. Simple, Simple shop. Present. Day. Simple, present. Oh. Simple present, right? What about the third one? Bye. Bye. What is Bye. that? Future? Future. 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 It's the future. Good job. Future. What, what about uh, the third example? What tenses do we have? Bye. Bye. Simple past. Simple past. Good job. Simple past. What about the present? Drive. Simple drive. Simple drive. Simple drive. What about the future? I'm going, I'm going to, to use. I'm going to use. I'm going to. And what is this? Simple future. Simple future. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Really, really, really good job. Mm. All right, hey, uh, yes. decir, de, decirle a, a Katia Urbina ahí que después. Uh, <laughs> I'm learning. Ca, Casa Miquel or lo que sea, right? <laughs> All right, guys, good job, okay? All right, guys, so let's, <laughs> All right, guys, so let's learn more vocabulary, guys. Everyone repeat at that time. At that time. time. In the past. In the past. past. Then. Then. Okay, guys, so give me your own examples, okay? I will give you my own example right now, and then you give me yours, okay? Let me just at the time. Um, so let's talk about, about playing, playing with marbles, okay? Uh, I'm going to use another time reference, guys. I'm going to use back when... Back when I was a kid, okay? This is another time reference, okay? Back when I was a kid, we used, we used to play marbles, marbles a lot. Do you know what marbles are, guys? Yeah, Chibola. Chibola. Thor, <laughs> Spider-Man. No, guys, it's not that, right? No, guys, marbles, guys, Chibolas, right? We used to play uh, marbles a lot. Uh, Como es eso ahora en día, guys? Today, nowadays, 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 nowadays we don't, nowadays. we uh, people, uh, kids, kids don't play anymore don't, don't because play anymore. they always spend their time in, in the farm. Is the PlayStation? Guys, le, le, voy a, le voy a dar un tip ahorita para para el resto de su vida, guys. Cuando están hablando de electrónicos. Cualquier cosa, electrónicos o de computador, o, o, sea, o, o si están hablando de su computadora, guys, any devices, preposition is on. What is it? On, the, on, on their cell phones, okay? On their, oh. si, 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 en sus their cell okay? phones. They always pay, uh, because they always spend uh, their time on their cell phones, okay? Um, in the future, 
Hello. And in the, the future, nice teacher. Okay. In the future, they might not even leave home because they will spend time in a virtual world okay now am i using guys am i using the th the three countries the past present and the future yes or not yes yes, yes. yes guys okay all right so that is my example now uh volunteer guys volunteer 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 i need Me your teacher. example all right guys hágame un favor todos denme un ejemplo de cualquier tema guys haciendo contraste del pasado del presente del futuro mándemelo al chat right now okay y quien dijo mi teacher Dame tu ejemplo ahorita, right? Let's go. Thank you very much. Let's go. Tell me. All right. Back in the days, we used to have a lot of more stuff to do on the street, like playing with some friends um, or football or something like that. But nowadays, people uh, used to spend a lot of time a lot of time on their phones. Good job. And in the future? Um, mm, no necessary, guys. No, it's not necessary for you to say in the future. You can say... I think that in 2025, um, 2025 or 2050, right? You can give me a, a time in the future, right? By uh -huh. the end, of, by the end of the week, I'll, uh, I'm going to finish um, my. How, how would you say? Like, it's not like part of my job, but it's some type of uh, part of your job you can take to home. Like, how would you say? Like, by the end of the week, I will have finished my um uh, like the things i have to do for my job maybe okay like, do, do, do you get what i'm trying to say uh not not really <laughs> all right what, what i'm trying to say is like by the end of this week i'm gonna finish all the job i have remaining from my work Okay, like, by the end of the week, I will have finished. The first time that you said it, you were, oh, you were all right. right. All right. But, but okay, hold on. There is, a, well, there is one thing that we need to correct here. You're talking about, you remember, you have to, you're making a comparison about one thing, guys. A okay. comparison about? One thing. One thing. What is that one thing that Herbert is talking about? Um, work from home. Okay, working from home. Okay, but you mentioned that playing soccer. When you were, you said back back when I was a kid, we used to play soccer and so on and so forth. Okay, right. So keep talking about that. Okay, so if you're talking about uh, that you went outside to play soccer, nowadays people don't go outside to play soccer. Now tell me what's going to happen in the future regarding playing soccer. Got it? So it's, all right. It's, it's so, a comparison about one thing. I'll, I'll give you another example then. Sure. So uh, about. By the end of this quarantine, I'm going to call all my friends so we can play some soccer. Uh -huh. So we can play some soccer match. Is okay. that right? Uh, no. No, the reason why... Okay, the, the, the grammar is good. But guys, okay, I'm going to explain this, guys, in, in Spanish, okay? Sure. Estamos haciendo una comparación entre el pasado, presente y futuro, all right? Si me decís vos, al final de esa semana, eso no es el futuro. Tiene que ser un futuro lejano. ¿Cómo pensás? ¿Cuál es tu idea del futuro lejano que tenés acerca del, del soccer? ¿Cómo la gente va a jugar soccer? You, I could say, for example, back when I was a kid, we, were, we, we used to go out to play soccer. Nowadays, you know, kids don't go out to play soccer anymore because they, want, they, they like spending time on their cell phone. Um, I think maybe in 2050, Kids won't even go out or play on their cell phone because they will be living in a, in a, um, on a virtual world. Got it? In a virtual world. Yeah. Okay? Entonces, tenés que hablar de un, de un futuro lejano. All right? That was the only thing, but you were oh. very fluent, Herbert. Applause for Herbert, guys. All right. Good thank, job. Thank Good job. Good job, man. Okay? All right. Let's take a look at your examples, guys. In the past, let's see. Uh, Sergio, in the past, people travel, travel walked. Okay, no. In the past, people traveled, people walked, okay? You can say, in the past, people walked, or in the past, people traveled. How do you say, dejaban caminando, guys? Walking. Yeah, travel, walking. Travel walking a walking. lot, right? Walking, walking a lot, okay? Nowadays, 
nowadays, it's nowadays they use cars. In the future, they will be, okay, in the future, they will be able to fly to other countries, all right? So that's how you can go correct it, okay? Sergio, um, Alvaro, in the past, the kids used to play soccer in the street very every afternoon. Nowadays, the most of kids play soccer in the, in the PlayStation. In the future, maybe nobody plays soccer in the real life only in machines okay good job Alvaro. all right the structure of the comparison of times is good but we need to work on the grammar part okay there are a couple of mistakes on grammar but the structure of the topic is good okay good job guys good job uh, i'm waiting for the rest guys right everybody else send me your examples i'm waiting for yours guys all right now let's learn vocabulary guys for present everyone currently Currently. Currently. All right, write it down, write it down if you know, right? Currently, guys, is actualmente, okay? Everyone, in the meantime. In the meantime. In the meantime. All right. Meantime. What, is the meaning of, what is the meaning of in the meantime, guys? Like in, in the, the moment? Put out, right. okay? All right, it's in the, like, at the moment, right? Like right uh, now, okay? Yeah, okay. Ooh, Everyone, uh, now. Would... All right. Oh. All right, in, in the, the meantime, moment. guys, actually means para mientras, okay? In the meantime, yeah, I, I was about to say something about in the meantime. Like, um, I understand that. Like, how you ever watch a uh, American football match? Whenever you are in the middle of the time that they, they are playing, that's called the meantime, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, um, it's like a break, right? It's it's like a break. It's like you know, like para mientras, right? That's actually the little meaning of that. All but right. yes, guys, uh, that's a meantime. That's correct, okay? In the future, guys, in the next couple of years. In the next. In the next couple of years. I want to hear everyone. Milton, I don't hear you. Uh, let's hear everyone. Everyone, next. Next. Next, next. right? Next. All right, good job, right? Las chicas ahí con todo. Next. All right, everyone, in the near future. In the near future. In the future. near future. Right. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. So now, uh, how can we start a conversation like this, guys? We can use these expressions. Help me read. Uh, let's see, Miguel Campos. Help me read the first expression and write it down, guys. Miguel Campos. First expression. Chill. Hola. As a chill, I use a child. The child, uh -huh. you, I, you say, I used to. Okay, everyone, as a child, I used to. 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 Okay, all right, good job. Child, guys, repeat, child. 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 Right, child. Five years ago, I... Nowadays, I. Nowadays, I. Next year, I am going to. Next year, I am going to. In five years, I'll. In five years, I'll. In ten years, I might. In ten years, I might. Or Otto, as a child, I used to uh, finish the finish the sentence. But what? So, so. As a child, all right. The expression number one. Finish. The as a child. Uh huh. Mm, as a child, to... I used to went to the national school. I used to went, guys. Remember, guys, when you see infinity, the verb has to be in base form. What is it? Go. Uh, I used to auto. I used. I used to go. Good job. I, I used, used to go. I used to go. Yes, I used to go to a national school. To national, good job, good job. Plus for Otto, guys, good job. Otto, pick someone with your favorite color. What's your favorite color, Otto? Mm. Santi Salazar. All right, Santi, let's go, Santi. Five years ago. Oops, sorry. Um, so sorry. Okay, five years uh -huh. ago, I. Mm, 
Five years ago, I got married. <laughs> okay, good job. For example. For Santa, guys. Good job. For example, guys, because reality is like you've been married for 10 years, right? Good job, man. Good job, right? Uh, Santi, pick someone. Uh, Luis, Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique, third one. Okay. Nowadays, I go to the good gym. Nowadays, I go to the gym. Good job. Luis, pick someone else. Um, pick a girl. Karina, Karina. Karina, let's go, Karina. Next year, I am going to play soccer. Good job. Now, pronunciation, guys. Year. You. Year. No, don't year. say year. Right? It's year. Year. All right. Year. Like year. an E-A. Year. All right. Year. Year. All right. Year. Good job. Karina, pick year. someone else. I don't know, teacher. Just Me. read the name. Fabiola. Right? Fabiola. Let's go, Fabiola. In five years, I will travel. Travel. Okay, I will travel. Good job, Fabiola. Pick. Oh, uh, Sergio, you said me, me teacher, right? Sergio, last one. Uh, okay. In ten, in ten years, I might will go to the travel to around the world. Ooh, I might will. What's around there, guys? I might will. I might will. My, my I might. Might. Might and will are model verbs, okay? You only need one, okay? So, Sergio, correct yourself. In 10 years... In, in 10 years, I might, might travel to around the world. I might travel around the world. I might around travel around the world. the world. Around the world. Repeat, guys. I might travel around the world. I might travel around the world. Good job, guys. David, I have a question about this topic. Now that uh, actually he was giving us some uh, good examples, by the way, um, can we say something like um, uh, first by past perfect, like uh, by mm, in five years I would have finished my career? Hey guys, who can answer that question? Ya le hice así con el dedo, así que. Yes, man. Repeat again. <laughs> all right, repeat the question again, man. Sure. So, for all of you guys, so do you think it's possible to use this topic with past perfect? Like, we say, like, in five years, I will have finished my career. That's future perfect. Uh, yeah, I future perfect. Finished. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry. Uh, yes, guys. So, he's, if, if he's asking, guys, if you can use this with other tenses such as future perfect, which would be, I will have finished my career. So can we use it like, can we use like, can we use it like this guys? Yes. Yes guys. Yes, yes you, you can. Yes, man. As long as you're referring about the future. Yes. Okay. Remember anything that will help you compare something. You can say, for example, simple, simple past. Okay. You can use a uh, past progressive, all right? You can use um, uh, past perfect if you want, et cetera, man. And then on the, in the present, you can use obviously simple present. All right, you can use simple present. Uh, you can use present progressive. You can use, um, what else guys? What else do we have in the, the present? So, like, um, uh, basically, in other words, like, all of these topics where we're, we're, you know, like, starting right now, they can mix to all the tenses, right? Yes. So if you're comparing, if you're doing a time contrast, then, yes, you can mix them up. All right? All right. All right. Good question, man. Good question. Yes, guys. So, you can use other tenses. All right, guys. So, I'll give you guys, I'll give you seven minutes to finish all of this. Go to 4.4 right now. And let's work in couples. Let's go. Did you hear that music? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right, let's go, guys.
Hi. I think we're waiting Hello. for the room. All right, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me open the rooms. I have uh, somebody was sending me something on WhatsApp, one of you. Hold on. Hello. Hello, sir. I have some problems with the connection. Oh, okay, all right, don't worry. Uh, let me get somebody with you, man, because you're not supposed to be alone. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you gotta join. What happened to your camera, man? Um, it's okay, but uh, the, the question is that the signal is really bad and then if i turn on the camera it will be a little oh, okay um, slow got it okay let me let me get you together with someone because uh, you're supposed to be with fernando all right let's okay. go did you get the invite now yeah 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 thank you all right yes it is yes 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 okay What's up, all good, guys? Good. Yes, yes, very good. yes, yes, very good. All right. I'm working. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. good. Okay. Number two. Before, before, before there were supermarkets. People used to shop at small stores. A small store, I think, but uh, we had to view the all of the answers and consider them, I think. No people, people didn't try, no, they were probably the yes. seat, the power. Yes, it's the best answer. Yes. The, first, the first one. People used to okay. the first one. People used to shop at, shop at, the, at the small stores. At small stores. Okay. okay. Number, Number three. Three. About five hundred years ago. It's about five hundred. Most people go to work. I'm not sure people about work this. More than four years. Four I, I years think. I wait. This is the 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 unique answer I can I try to to make a relation with the with the, with the question <laughs> <laughs> because the rest of the answer I know, I don't know. It's not make sense. Maybe, maybe. Mm, no. Populate, pop, pol, pol, ah, population, no, it's not. Uh, pollution. Pollution is not the answer. No. no. Also, most people are going to work home. No, it's not no, the answer. People are going to work. Okay, people were more than. No, no, no. Let me see, doctor. And what about doctor? Might find a cure for the common, the common. No, no, no. Okay. What's the meaning of pollution? Pollution. Um, pollution. Many people, more many people in the in the city, for example, pollution. Ah, contamination. Contamination. You. Uh -huh. No. No, most people are going to work. Yes, people. most people are more, more one. Okay, next one. 
if more people are going to work at home. Okay. The yes, number four in number most four. offices today, most today. people are going to work at home, I think. Mm. Uh, most office today, right now, actually in the COVID-19 scenery. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you agree, Otto? Which one is? It's number, it's, is number it number, four. question number four and the answer, uh, Jasmine and me, uh, we're seeing the best answer for the question is, uh, that's the number number three. Most people Most are going people to work. Are going to work at home. But, but the question is, it's most mm -hmm. office today. In, in most office today, in a pandemic pandemic scenario. Yes, yes, like like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. One. By in the okay okay good. Number five. Number five. It may. In many cities nowadays, no, no, nowadays. no, nowadays. I don't okay. nowadays. No, yes, yes, they're good. The you know, pronunciation is not good. Nowadays. What is the meaning? I don't know. Uh, nowadays is uh, ahora en día. Okay. Hoy en estos tiempos. M means maybe people work more than four, 40 hours a week. No, because no. this no. answer we, we put in we put we put in the and the question number three. Okay. Okay, for me is um, ninety-seven. Mil doscientos noventa y siete. The first game of golf. Ah, uh, really? Yes, but uh, officially it was in 1450. Oh my God, a long time ago. <laughs> yes. Mm. Ni siquiera existía. <laughs> Spanish, hey guys, did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher, we finished. All right, we're going to go back now. Thank you. I have. Did you all finish, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, we I'm sorry. Have a nice talk. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, Jose. I think that you were saying something. And I all right. Sounds good, guys. Okay, guys, so real quick, guys, before we leave, uh, number one, volunteer. Volunteer, guys. Um, before the automobile, uh, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Mm -hmm. People what? People don't. Yeah. Uh, people people didn't, okay. didn't travel, didn't travel as, as much from, from city, city to city. Okay, good job, good job. Pick someone else, quick. Uh, Fabiola. Fabiola, let's First go. One. Let's go. First one, before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. Good job, right? Fabiola, pick someone. Come on. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, go. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. People what? Yeah. Played. Oh, people played, played the first game of golf. Good job. Good played. job. Pick someone with beautiful uh, feet. <laughs> um, Berta. Berta. Okay. Let's go, Berta. In, in the most office today, people work more than 40 hours a week. Good job. Everyone, pronunciation. In most offices today, in must in must office, office today. today. All right, guys. It's not must. It's most. It was most. Most. Okay. In most office today. Offices. 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 Okay. All right. Don't worry, Berta. Pick someone beautiful armpits. Go. Uh, Josué Rivas. Josué Rivas. Those are codos, right? Let's go. Yeah, what? Those are codos, right? Like armpits. 
Armpits, no, armpits are sobacos, right? Axilas, I'm oh. sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, number five. Okay, in in many cities nowadays, nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, pronunciation, guys. In many cities nowadays. In many, many cities, cities nowadays. nowadays. All right. It sounded, all right, this is the problem. So it sounded like you said medicine. So no conquiste medicina. In medicine no. nowadays, right? In many, many cities. cities. Right? All right, many cities. Good job, man, all right. Number six. Soon, most people are going to work at home. Okay, soon, most people are going to work at home, okay? All right, Esmeralda. <laughs> I'm muting, I'm muting you because of the TV, Esmeralda. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> You're yeah, in Katia Carranza. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, number seven, uh, Esmeralda, go. Okay, in the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Good job, Esmeralda. And number five, um, Jacqueline. Number eight. Again? Oh, number eight, I'm sorry. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> number eight. Me, teacher, again. Uh, number eight, the, uh, Jacqueline, yes. Okay, sometime in the future, there will probably the, be cities in space. Good job, guys. There will probably be cities in space. Good space. job, good job. A plus for you, guys. Very well done, very well done, all right? So, guys, tomorrow, guys, be early because we're going to finish, um, we're, we're pretty much going to finish section number four, okay? Um, on Monday, guys, we're going to hit section number five, and that will be all, okay? So far, guys, I hope that uh, that you had a good time, all right? Enjoy the rest of your day, um, well, the rest of the evening with your family, guys. Happy Father's Day for those who, I did, who, for those who were not here earlier, guys. Thank you very much for coming. And I Thank you, teacher. You tomorrow, guys. teacher. Yes, yes, Bye, you. David. Good night. See you tomorrow, Bye -bye, teacher. Guys. Take care, guys. Take care.